Yo, I am Benjamin and in this video I would like to show you three new properties we added to Framer Sites. The first one is User Select. So in cases where you have content that collapses and expands, you might get accidental text selections like these. Now we can fix this. You can go into the component and add the User Select property and set that to None. And now we no longer get any accidental text selections. The second one is Z index. So in cases like these, where you are using position sticky and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, your sidebar might overlap your top bar. Now we can fix this by selecting our top bar and adding a Z index property and making sure its value is higher than the sidebar. And then if we scroll down to the page again, now our overlap issues are fixed. The third one is pointer events. So here we have a component that is fixed to the viewport so it overlaps all of our content below, which means currently it is blocking the events and interactions. And to fix this now, I can set pointer events to none on the instance, and then go in here and enable pointer events for the actual top bar itself. And now it works. You can see we have hover states again. And I can also expand and collapse the navigation, which animates to the viewport. So that was a quick look at three new properties we added to Framer Sites. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.